Cabatita is one of the best dive sites we've ever dived. You have this beautiful rock formation that is towering in the open ocean. We did not see hammerheads uh, up until now, hopefully later, because they're really deep here and they're circling this, uh, this big rock. Hammerheads are able to sense uh, the Earth's magnetic field, um, so they're able to navigate through vast distances of open ocean in between characteristic sea mounts, and Rock Abitsi is one of them, and they use it to navigate. We went down to 20 meters to have a look for the sharks, and we just couldn't see anything. The visibility was amazing, but it just seemed like there was nothing. But then all of a sudden, we just had manta rays descending from all different directions. We had about three of them coming in, and just decided they were going to play in our bubbles, and they were just rolling in them, and there were moments where they were coming straight at you, and they're like eye level here, and you're just like, are you gonna move? Do I move? Like, how does this work? Are we just gonna run into each other? But at the very last minute, you just feel them lift up and roll, and it's just the most incredible experience. So I was trying to do these tagging shots of William with the spear guns, and I've just got mantas blocking every shot that I had, and eventually I was just like, I give up. The mantas want my attention. I have to give in. There's some things in the world that just completely take your attention away, and Manta Rays are one of them. It was so special and just an incredible dive. We're going to try again this afternoon, and fingers crossed some sharks turn up, and we'll go deeper and do another spot for hammerheads and then signal back if we see them. But if not, fingers crossed we can at least get those photo and film needs that we needed for this expedition done this afternoon. Typically, the tagging team is trying to go out first light and you know, have the, the best option and chance to, uh, to tag the sharks. The explorers, the participants are going out later either with myself or, or, or you guys or the, some of our instructors. Um, and then sometimes they're coming out with us and you know, observing from the surface uh, the whole procedure, seeing, the, you know, seeing what the dives are like, seeing what the conditions are like. So I think it's, I mean you can ask them, but I think it's a great uh, collaboration. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Yeah. And I think that's you know, an important aspect of this. This is you know, people getting involved in care, trying to support the research, trying to support the expedition by paying for their spot on the boat, etc. With the participants, I had the opportunity to just die for the fun and enjoy the, enjoy the, the scenery. But there was a, uh, an amazing manta that was coming in. And I just dove right on top of it, sank slowly right beside her, and then just started following her. And in a moment, she basically kind of noticed that I was there and just turned face to me. And we stopped right there in the middle of the, in the middle of the water. And she was, and I, could, I could see her little eye going, like she was actually looking at me, probably wondering, what the hell is that thing? And I was about as close as I am right now to the camera in front of that huge, huge uh, uh, manta, it was just amazing, it was just an amazing long moment.